What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey you guys. And right now we getting ready to give you a movie review for Aquaman. Uh, this was directed by James Wan. He's done uh, The Conjuring and he did Fast and the Furious 7. Yes. Um, also it was starring Amber Heard, Jason Momoa, Nicole Kidman, Willem Dafoe, Dolph Lundgren, uh, Patrick Wilson. Yeah, so there was a lot of people in here. Um, let's Go ahead, get it started. Go ahead, Shamanda. You seem excited. Go ahead. I am excited. Okay, so. <laughs> um, I guess this is a spoiler review. Sound the alarm. Spoiler. Spoiler review. Uh, the movie was rather long. Yeah, it, it was, was tiny. Um, rather long. But it had to cover a lot of things. Mm. So um, I'm not upset about that portion. It wasn't like the length of it was too much at every point of the extension. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was like every time you was like, oh, it's about to be over. No, they had to do something else. Oh, but they got to cover this. Oh, but they got to show this. I liked the history. I'm not, you know, as you probably know that I'm not too much of a comic book person. Um, I figured it was just a boy thing, and since we've been married, he's taken on that, so he knows more about this kind of things. But let me tell you this. I'm not gonna cover too much about the movie until you get on to it. But, ladies. There are only two characters that I actually love in this little whole, you know, movie thing. Thor. My number one and call Droko. <laughs> Jason Momoa. I'm sorry, but Aquaman is pretty much. When he put on that green and yellow suit, I screamed. She really did. <laughs> she really did. So as you can see, she loved this movie. I, I okay, so it was You can tell by her giddiness she loved this yeah, movie. Yeah, I'm really giddy. So it was a lot of moments of him standing by the water and then doing this, looking back at the camera. I was like, huh. Every time we did it. Um, Storyline was great. We covered a lot of things as far as his history and how he became Aquaman. His parents, how they met. Um, all the premises of all that. It was really good. And there were certain elements of the movie that I did enjoy. Because it wasn't all CG. They did actually have stuntmen. Yeah. And that was pretty awesome because I feel like that element of movies have been abandoned because of CG has taken over and you don't have to do too much. It's a lot of ropes taking you out of your position mm -hmm. to put you in the air and all that kind of stuff. But the actual stuntmen or dummies or whatever that they were using when they were throwing each other around, I love that scene in the sub in the submarine. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, for that, and then I'll add more. Go okay. ahead. Um, man, let's see, DC. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! <laughs> they finally did it. What? They finally did it. They finally did it. Cause I was okay. Look here. Look, I was comparing it to Wonder Woman, like Like this Wonder might Woman be was it. good. Yeah. I didn't think it was nearly as good as everybody was proclaiming it to be. Yeah, that's, that's true because we were... This right here? Okay, listen. This movie was awesome, man. <laughs> I was trying so hard to he maintain did. my he... stone face so she wouldn't know how I felt. But he, I could not. <laughs> <laughs> there were certain things that would happen and I'd be like, hey. And we normally don't I, we normally do not do that so he could tell that I was excited because usually we just go <laughs> on the movies all stone face so, you won't, so we can't tell <sighs> if we like it. Because Man, we should have seen right this here? Thursday instead of Bumblebee. Yes. <laughs> oh, but the time was conflicting times. We have to give you an authentic reaction. Yeah. So we don't discuss anything, <laughs> anything when we go see the movies. On our way home, on, we home. don't say nothing. If nothing. We, we might be talking about, about music other and other stuff. But never about the movie. But never about the movie. We don't discuss it because we don't want to yeah. lead on to what, you know, and then try to 
Yeah, but go ahead. I'm Look sorry. here. I'm glad though. <laughs> if they had started off with this. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Dang. <laughs> It would have been so much better if, if, but they tried to rush it. They tried to make their own universe to match up with Marvel. No, you got to take things slow, map out a plan. Mm -hmm. If they had started off with this, it would have set things on fire. Like, yeah. okay, yeah, let's go. And then Wonder Woman, because mm -hmm. Wonder Woman is still good. And then you get all the. Actually, they could have released those two at yeah, the same yeah. time. You, you get know? all the individual movies together. So when they come together, it's epic. It's, it's a you lot. You feel epic. it. Yeah. Like, cause that's what happened with Avengers when they when they finally came together. Cause it was like I don't know how many movies before they finally came together, and it was, it was like whoa. Cause it was Iron Man was 08, Avengers didn't come out to like 2012. So you had four years of movies oh, until they came together, and it just it was just epic. This movie was epic to me. Um, I love the colors. Yeah, the colors was amazing. I was wondering how they would do the uh, CG when it comes to the water and everything. It's and I awesome. thought the CGI was great. I mean, I'm not an expert at CGI, but when stuff looked fake, it looked fake. But it looked good to me. Yeah, um, it did. I thought the story was great. They explained everything. everything. I thought, uh, I thought like the score was great. Mm -hmm. um, man, I wish they had started off with Aquaman, man. My um, actors. Th look, Jason Momoa. Is that dude, man? I I love Jason Momoa. He's that dude. When he He's was fighting, so though, authentic with his character. All I could see was Carl Drogo when he was fighting, though. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> Especially there was this part. It was oh on a boat, my God. and he had his hair in a bun. Oh, and you know he still, he had the, the oh. goatee. He looked just like Carl Drogo because he had no like shirt he, on and nothing. Like he woke up. He looked like Carl Drogo, like and I was, was like, like he was in the tent <laughs> with, with Khaleesi. <laughs> If I'm dreaming, like, like he got, I will kill a man that wakes me. Oh my god! Yes, that scene right there. That, uh, that hey, I give right him there. mad props. He did his thing. Um, like she said, like my my um, knowledge of Aquaman stemmed from like Super Friends and you yeah. know, the cartoons me and things too. like that. So yeah. he was, in the in the cartoon he was corny. Aquaman. But in this, he, he was he was a bad dude. He wasn't that. Well, yeah, he was, he was a little corny. corny because he just talked with the animals. Yeah, and rode it. the dolphins or yeah. whatever. And, wink, wink. and that's and how that, they did. And that corny suit he had on. But this suit in this movie, fire. Was when he when he appeared in that suit, it was epic, man. It was like, dude. Did you want to say something yeah, too? I did. <laughs> Listen. I did. And then he was like. Tsh. We and all I could think about was, I have the power. We don't, use, we don't use the phrase man crush, but if he said it was epic, then I was like, it was epic. I was like, I actually, it was I epic. screamed and I did like this too. I would like to me, that this could awesome. have been released in, in July, you know, summer blockbuster. Oh yeah, because man, it took on a whole different. Yeah. Well, this is almost like a a winter time yeah. summer, winter well, equivalent. Yeah. Christmas time, Memorial Day, July Fourth of July. Fourth of July is always a, a good movie time time thing. And I'm, I'm about to put it out there, man. Movie time time thing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite comic book movies. Really? Yeah. It takes a lot to. It's just me. For DC. No period. What? DC came through. I, hey, it's it's one of my favorite com comic I am book like movies. Like I really amazed. loved it. I really really in thoroughly enjoyed myself. I was really entertained and. And taking it back, I was like, "Wow!" There were some. There were some. I things. wish it had came out before Justice League, though, because I feel like in oh, Justice yeah. League, they didn't really pan onto his to, to his character. Was, they yeah. really didn't expand on his character. Like I said, they should have came out the individual movies, then come together. Because yeah, but um, I can't say enough about it. Great directing job, great writing job, score, uh, the cinematography was man, just the lights and the like, the locations and just. Everything was amazing. Like it, even when they was in, in Italy, and just a view from like the uh, the sculpture area. The uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, the scenery. The, what? the statue go. area, okay. looking off into the water. Oh it yeah, was, it was amazing. Yeah. Like stuff like that, man. It, it it was really good. I like the fact that they did um, um, incorporated his history yeah. lessons. And um, it went back and forth. It went back and yeah. forth on that because they said they saved a lot they of time that, with that. They, yeah, they saved a lot of time with that. <laughs> and and on top of that, when I was saying before, it was a little lengthy. 
and it's because they had to explain a lot. Mm -hmm. So it was a part where he was ex he was talking about his training, and he said, "Are you ready?" And it flashed back to his training to show him that he remembered his training. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I don't, yeah. You know, if you're not a, you know, you don't know anything about Aquaman, uh, I, I forget, forgot to mention this at the beginning. You know, his mother was the queen of Atlantis, and his father was just a, a lighthouse he was uh, a owner. Yeah. And, um, you know, and she got washed up on the shore. And he was they a met, man of the lighthouse. Yeah, and, you know, their relationship blossomed like that, and mm -hmm. Arthur Curry was, was born from that relationship. Right. So, but yeah, man, uh, so now he's King Arthur. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Yeah, King Arthur. That was a scene. Right. Um, oh, man. It was a lot of things that, um, is it, what's her name, Mara? What was her name? Mira. Mira. Yeah, um, she was good. When she introduced herself and she gave her whole name. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, she was like, but just call me Mira. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I loved her vehicle. Oh, yeah, that was so sweet. When they showed it and he was like, we're not going to be getting in that fish chum and everything mm -hmm. all in it and whatnot. But when it lit up and took off, I was like, okay. You know how the penguin was like, or the joker was like, where does he get his yeah. toys? <laughs> I thought that that was pretty, you know, I was I was saying it in my head. Yeah. Like, where does he where does yeah. he get those toys? I thought that was pretty cool. I like the fact that they incorporated and they, they, un, they explained the, um, the air pocket. Yeah, portion yeah. Of the that movie. was crucial because it would make you question stuff. So that was yeah. Crucial. So they explained, and if you see the movie, then you will understand what I mean mm -hmm. by that. Because we're thinking underwater at all times. Mm -hmm. If you're underwater, and then it was an air pocket, and you know, in an air pocket, you have you can breathe. Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know how they took the boat, yeah, and they was walking <laughs> through the water. Yeah. That was their air pocket. Yeah. So they explained the air pocket portion. I thought that was good. Um. There was something else that I was supposed to remember, and I was like, I gotta remember. Yeah, so I wish I, I had written a couple something. things down. I know I'm forgetting. Um, but the car, the um, the explanation, um, the critters that they came across at the boat. Yeah, they were those jokers were ferocious. They reminded me of um, Alien. Yeah. And um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. How well, they were part of the yeah, boat. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if you see the movie, you understand what yeah. I'm talking about. For but uh, but as good. for our rating, as you can tell, I give this Joker a, a, a solid A. This Joker is a flaming young Oscar style. Listen here. You know I'm lobster tail all the way through. Um, I hope that this movie gets the publicity that it needs. Mm -hmm. Because I thought, I mean, personally, I thought it was a great movie. Yeah. I would have seen it regardless because it was Jason Momoa on it. Um, and I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. I just like his personality. I've seen many interviews. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm acting like a stalker. <laughs> but his interviews were portrayed in the movie as far as his personality. Yeah. How free, free he is. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's, he's just seemed like a cool dude, man. Like. Well, listen. So yeah, that's our that's our review. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Yes, please um, go see it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's a lot of movies coming out yeah. this weekend. And we will see y'all in the next one, man. Yeah. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.